Hello guys and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. My name is Joe Wicks and this is a 15 minute beginner HIIT workout. We've got 15 exercises, 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds rest, every exercise is different and I'll demonstrate the technique and form on each move and you've just got to follow along if you can. If an exercise doesn't feel suitable, you don't enjoy it, please switch it for something different or skip it and rejoin for the next exercise. So we're going to start things off by doing 35 seconds of marching on the spot or well, if you want to go a little bit quicker, go straight in for a jog. So 35 seconds on marching or jogging, then we rest for 25 seconds and then move on to the next exercise. So thanks for joining me. Let's get started. Nice and simple. Jog on the spot. Get that heart rate as high as we can before resting for 25. Let's go. So 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds rest, all the way through for 15 minutes. Obviously you can use your arms a little bit here to pump, get a bit of speed, lift those knees as high as you can and drive them up. Lovely stuff, right. 20 seconds on the clock, then we're gonna have a little break. Whew, come on, really think about your heart rate. Push it as high as you can now. Lift those knees a bit higher. Pump the arms. Okay, 10 seconds, then we rest. Come on, let's go, push it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and recover. So we get 25 seconds to rest. If you are enjoying my workouts on the channel, please hit subscribe. I post a new workout every single week. And if you want more advice and support, you will love my Body Coach app. You can do a three week trial, it's amazing. Okay, we're gonna go in now for some squats. So feet flat on the ground, sit down into a nice sort of seated position, standing up, trying to keep the back nice and straight, drive the heels into the floor, and stand up each time, off we go. So we're trying to lower nice and slowly, stand up tall. If you need to, you can go a bit wider with the feet. Just make sure you're keeping those feet flat on the ground as you go down, and stand up, lovely stuff. So yeah, every move's different. 15 reps just from the side. So we're not just hinging from the hips here, we're trying to keep the back straight. Bend the legs, use the legs. Use those quads and those glutes and hamstrings. As you get nice and low, sit down, drive up, right, brilliant. So keeping that chest up. Last one, and rest, lovely. I shake those legs off. We're now gonna go into what's known as a walkout. This is a great one for upper body strength. So we're gonna start. Feet on the floor, we're gonna put our hands onto the ground. We're gonna walk these hands out into a high plank. When we get to that position there, we're gonna walk back, touch our toes, reach up and go again. If you need to go a bit wider with the legs you can, the straighter you are, obviously so the closer the more you're gonna feel a stretch in the hamstring. So let's go walking those hands out into that high plank. So you're here, you're gonna feel your core working. Walk back, stand up and repeat. So you're really gonna feel obviously your wrists and shoulders and chest is working here. And then you're gonna feel your core as you walk into the plank. So we don't wanna dip that back. Don't dip and arch this back, keep it nice and strong, straight back. Walking those hands back, touch the floor, touch the sky, good. And again. So lock that plank out, squeeze the abs. Let's do one more together if we can. Last one, walk the hands out. High plank, walk back and relax, lovely. Right, next exercise. Number four, we're gonna do some curtsy lunges now. So this is like a bit of a reverse lunge, but you step the foot back and across the body. So it's 35 seconds, as if you're doing a curtsy to the queen. Nice and slow, obviously drop that back knee as low as you can. If you can't go right down, just step a little bit shallower. Don't bend that front knee as much. Here we go. So stepping back and across. Thanks for jo you know, joining me today for a workout. Hope you're having a good day wherever you are in the world. Remember, you always feel better at the end of it. So if you've got any stress in your body now, if you're a bit anxious about the day ahead, this is a great way to get rid of that, help you feel more positive, and bring some energy to your mind and body. Right, 15 seconds to go. Remember, it's 15 moves, every single exercise is different. If one doesn't feel suitable, you can switch it for something else. Maybe another jog on the spot or a star jump. But just try your best to finish that 15th exercise with me. Lovely, right, shake your legs off. Okay, next exercise. We're gonna go in for a little bit of a cardio exercise now. So we're gonna use the width of the room or the garden wherever you are to shuffle along and touch the floor. So shuffle along, nice and quick, left to right. Just shuffle those feet, bend the legs, fingertips hit the floor. So really move your body as far as you can, left to right, and touch the floor each time. Let's go. So fingertips to the floor, excellent. Next exercise we're gonna do is gonna be down on the ground. We're doing a great exercise for our glutes. Good, so fingers to the floor. Left, 
to right. Good, keep up the speed if you can. Every time you bend those legs, fingers hit the floor. Right, we're nearly there, last 10 seconds. Come on, keep moving. Stay strong, this is the fifth exercise. Five of 15, it's going really quick. Three, two, one, and rest. Lovely stuff, we're gonna go down on the ground now. We're gonna be flat on the ground, laying flat on the backs with feet on the floor like so. So you lay shoulders and head on the ground, we're gonna dry our heels to the floor and lift our hips up. So really think about hamstrings and glutes. We go down, drive up. So we're trying to really focus on our glutes here, yeah? Off we go, so lift, squeeze, lower, squeeze, lower, brilliant. We're gonna stay on the ground for the next exercise. We're gonna do an abs exercise. So staying down, targeting the core. So drive those hips off the floor. Squeeze your arms, we're just pushing into the floor. Feet are flat on the ground. Really tense and clench those glutes. Uh, so staying on our backs for the next exercise. Squeeze and lift. Last few seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Brilliant, we're now gonna do an abs exercise. We're gonna do a single leg bicycle crunch, which means feet on the floor, knees slightly bent. We're gonna crunch up, bring our knee to our elbow. So come up and across the body, knee touches the elbow, and repeat. Here we go, nice deep breath as well. Inhale on the way down, exhale as you crunch up. Nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale, crunch up. Oof. Inhale down. Exhale, crunch up. Brilliant. Oof. So next exercise, we're gonna be up on our feet for the next move. We're gonna bring that heart rate back up again. Oof. And if you're up again, remember this is about just laying the foundations. You can start here at 15 minutes. And you might find it challenging, but if you come back again in a few days time and do it again, it will start to feel easier. You will get stronger, you'll get fitter, and it will feel like you're making progress. Right, slowly up onto our feet. Next exercise, I wanna bring the heart rate back up. It's dropped a little bit. We're gonna go for a sort of knee smash, I call this. We're gonna lift our arms up and drive the knees nice and high up in towards our hands. Go as quick as you can. Let's raise the heart rate again. Then we're gonna go into another lower body exercise. So nice deep breaths, push hard, give me 35 seconds of effort. Here we go, you're doing great. Left, right. One of my favorite things in the world is taking a beginner on a journey, you know, really building up your confidence and seeing you progress into those more intermediate workouts. And it will come with time. If you keep coming back, if you keep pressing play, I will transform you, I promise you that. Right, drive up, knee, raise, 15 seconds. Now we're gonna go down. Another lower body exercise, really hit the legs. Come on, let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Right, it's hot where I am today. I'm already sweating. Right, next move. We're gonna now go into a kind of seated squat, so like a squat hold, and we're gonna stay down in that position. So rather than coming up and down at like this, we're gonna try and low lower ourselves, and, and in that position there where we can feel like we've got a nice screw bend if we can, we're gonna sit and hold, hold the tension in the quads, yeah? Are you ready? Let's go. So sit and hold, feet are flat on the ground, weights in the heels. We're gonna hold that strength now. This is number nine, nine of 15. Come on, stay strong. All right, stay there, stay there, hold it. All right, it's getting hard now. Arms straight out in front, look straight ahead. Keep the weight in the heels. Don't let those knees cave in, drive the knees out, don't let the knees come in, like really push them out behind, push the knees behind you. Open up the hips, push it. Five seconds, hold it, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, ooh. Right, you'll feel that one tomorrow, shake them off. Give the legs a little rest. We're gonna go down now into a plank. So we're gonna do an elbow plank, targeting our core. So just on your knees. So if you're an absolute beginner, you haven't got the strength yet, just hold it from this position here. So just knees on the floor, elbows underneath the shoulders and brace that core, yeah? Feel that muscle working. If you can, lift up. Off we go, so it's either plank from the knees or off the knees. And you're really focusing on bringing your belly button up towards your spine, like drive it up, squeeze it, 
suck it all up towards your spine. So belly button up, inhale, exhale, suck it up. Inhale, exhale, suck it up. 15 seconds, let's hold it. Doing great guys, 10 seconds, hold, hold, hold. Hold it. Four seconds, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, we're up on our feet. We're doing great. We're trying to do the full body, you know, full body workout. So we're going to be up and down a little bit. This is number 11. What we're going to try and do now is a kind of a lunge, but we're going to step out to the side. So we're going to step to the side, feet together. Yeah, Ooh. just stepping the right leg up. So step out, feet together. Obviously, the lower you go, the more you're going to feel a stretch through here. So just go as low as you can. So step out, feet together. Lovely. We're doing four, 35 seconds on the right leg. Then we're going to switch. 35 seconds on the left leg. So really step out as far as you can. You're bending that knee, you're loading this quad and driving through the heel with those feet. 20 seconds to go. Good work, come on, keep pushing. So down we go, nice and low. Keeping that back straight, chest up. 10 seconds on this leg, starting to burn a little bit now. Step, centre. In four, three, two, one, hand relax, brilliant. We're now gonna do the same thing, left side. So feet together, we step out. Okay, as I said, you're gonna feel a massive stretch through inside this leg. Don't go too far. If it's not comfortable, you, you'll have to stretch these out a little bit more. Even if you just bend slightly, just a little step is great. Right, nice deep breaths. Are you ready? We're going again on this left leg. This will be taking us to exercise number 12. Right, okay. Step, feet together, step, Feet together, good work. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock to go. <sighs> Trying to keep that chest up, really bending that right leg. Sorry, bend the left leg. The right leg staying a bit straighter. <sighs> we're gonna go down after this for a set of push-ups. So we're gonna try and do some box push-ups. That'll be push-ups push on the knees. And we're gonna just focus on a little bend in the arms to build that chest strength, those triceps, and really build that upper body strength. I know press-ups are tough if you're a beginner, but we'll get there. We'll get there and we'll build up, and I promise you, if you keep coming back, I'll have you doing full push-ups. That is a fact. So, what I mean by box push-ups is knees on the ground, hands on the floor, just sort of shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend those elbows as low as we can and push up. If you can't do what I'm doing, you go chest to the floor, that's obviously the harder version. Just slight bend and press. All you're trying to do is lower your body a little bit towards the ground, keeping your abs tight. Let's go. So bend, push. Go as low as you can. We're trying to bend the elbows and straighten them at the top. Bend and straighten at the top. Excellent press ups. Come on, I know they're tough. Be strong, be powerful. You're gonna come back a few times and do these and they will still feel tough, but there's gonna be a point where you go, right, that's getting easier. And then you'll be off the knees. Then you'll be doing full push ups like this. You will at, bang, down. There's nothing stopping you other than just keep coming back. Keep training. Keep pushing. Okay, we're on our feet. We've got two more exercises. We're gonna go for a little bit of a cardio move now, so we're gonna raise our heart rate again. So we're gonna step and punch left, right, trying to reach those arms out in front and kick the heel just back towards the bottom behind you, yeah? So we're gonna go for some speed now. Two fast cardio moves to finish the workout. It's done great. Here we go. Come on in, let's go. Left, right, left. We're just bringing that leg behind us. Nice tight fist, straight arms, push and pull. So push it back to the chin. So it goes from the chin, back to the chin. Left, right, left, right. One more move after this. One more exercise to finish this 15 minute session. It's been fantastic. Well done for joining me. Well done for finishing it. Let's get that last exercise in together. Three, two, one, and rest. Good work, last one now. Let's go for a little bit more speed. Let's try and pick up the pace a little bit. What I wanna do now is a low sprint. So rather than bringing our knees up nice and high like this, a bit lower, just really, really fast. So fast feet. Again, can you really spike your heart rate, push it up as high as you can, so really move your body fast. Final 35 seconds, workout complete. Okay, come on, let's go. Fast feet. Nice and fast, on the spot. Let's go, use those arms as well. Left to right, come on. Let's go, nice and quick. 
Low sprint. Low sprint. 20 seconds left. Come on. Come on. How quick can you move? Ah. Let's go. 15 seconds. Last push. All your effort. All your energy. Come on. 10 seconds. Let's go quick as you can. Last push for five. We rest in four. Three. Keep pushing. Two. One. Ah. There we go. The end of time. And we love that beep. 15 minutes complete. Body weight only. I hope you enjoyed that session. Remember, I post a new workout every week, so hit subscribe. And if you want to get more advice and support on a tailored meal plan and training program, check out the Body Coach app. You will love it. You can do a three week trial on the App Store or the Google Play Store. It's called the Body Coach. You'll love it. Have a great day. Well done. Have a lovely stretch. Get some breath. Catch your breath. Have a drink. Get a good night's sleep. And I'll see you soon for another workout. Take care.